Instructions to Cook Traditional Dishes of the Homeland Cooking traditional dishes of your homeland is a great way to connect with your culture and heritage. Traditional dishes are often passed down through generations and can hold a lot of sentimental va. Yui. However, cooking traditional dishes can be daunting, especially if you haven't had much experience in the kitchen. In this article, we will explore some tips on how to cook traditional dishes of Yui. However, cooking traditional dishes can be daunting, especially if you haven't had much experience in the kitchen. In this article, we will explore some tips on how to cook traditional dishes of Our Homeland Research and Gather Recipes The first step in cooking traditional dishes is to research and gather recipes. Look for recipes that are traditional to your homeland and that have been passed down through generations. You can ask family members or friends for their favorite recipes or search online for authentic recipes. Once you have gathered a few recipes, read through them carefully and make sure you understand the steps in. Family members or friends for their favorite recipes or search online for authentic recipes. Once you have gathered a few recipes, read through them carefully and make sure you understand the steps in. Oved Gather ingredients and equipment The next step is to gather all the ingredients and equipment you will need. Many traditional dishes require specific ingredients that may not be commonly found in your local grocery store. You may need D. To visit specialty stores or order online to find certain ingredients. You should also make sure you have all the necessary equipment, such as pots, pans, and utensils. D. To visit specialty stores or order online to find certain ingredients. You should also make sure you have all the necessary equipment, such as pots, pans, and utensils. Practice and familiarize yourself with the recipe. Before you start cooking, it's a good idea to practice and familiarize yourself with the recipe. Read through it a few times and visualize the steps involved. You can also watch online tutorials or see. Okang okay, shows to see how the dish is prepared. Practice the recipe a few times before you attempt to make it for a special occasion or event. Okang okay, shows to see how the dish is prepared. Practice the recipe a few times before you attempt to make it for a special occasion or event. Follow the recipe closely. When cooking traditional dishes, it's important to follow the recipe closely. Traditional recipes often have specific measurements and techniques that are important to the final outcome of a dish. Make sure you have all the ingredients measured out and ready to go before you start cooking. Follow the recipe step by step, and don't be afraid to ask for help or clarification if you're unsure Abu. Make sure you have all the ingredients measured out and ready to go before you start cooking. Follow the recipe step by step, and don't be afraid to ask for help or clarification if you're unsure Abu. A particular step Pay attention to flavors and textures. Traditional dishes are often known for their unique flavor profiles and textures. When cooking traditional dishes, pay close attention to the flavors and textures of the dish. Taste the dish as you g. Along and adjust the seasoning as needed. Traditional dishes often have bold flavors, so don't be afraid to add extra spices or seasonings if you think it needs it. Pay attention to the texture of tea. Along and adjust the seasoning as needed. Traditional dishes often have bold flavors, so don't be afraid to add extra spices or seasonings if you think it needs it. Pay attention to the texture of tea. E dish as well. Many traditional dishes have specific textures that are important to the overall taste experience. Serve with authentic accompaniments. 
When serving traditional dishes, it's important to serve them with authentic accompaniments. This could include bread, rice, or other traditional side dishes. Many traditional dishes have specific C. S or sauces that are meant to be served with are them. Research traditional accompaniments and make sure you have everything ready before serving the dish. S or sauces that are meant to be served with them. Research traditional accompaniments and make sure you have everything ready before serving the dish. Share with family and friends. Cooking traditional dishes is a great way to connect with your culture and heritage, but it's also a great way to share your culture with others. Invite family and friends over to try your traditional dishes and share the stories and history behind the recipes. This can be a great way to connect with loved ones and create new memories. Dishes and share the stories and history behind the recipes. This can be a great way to connect with loved ones and create new memories. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Finally, don't be afraid to make mistakes when cooking traditional dishes. It can be intimidating to try new recipes and techniques, but mistakes are a natural part of the learning process. If a dish doesn't turn out the way you expected, learn from your mistakes and try again. Cooking is a skill that takes practice and patience, so don't give up if something doesn't turn out perfectly the first. Doesn't turn out the way you expected, learn from your mistakes and try again. Cooking is a skill that takes practice and patience, so don't give up if something doesn't turn out perfectly the first. Ime In conclusion, cooking traditional dishes of your homeland is a great way to connect with your culture and heritage. By researching and gathering recipes, gathering ingredients and equipment, practic. In and familiarizing yourself with the recipe, following the recipe closely, paying attention to flavors and textures, serving with the authentic accompaniments, sharing with family and friends, and not. In and familiarizing yourself with the recipe, following the recipe closely, paying attention to flavors and textures, serving with the authentic accompaniments, sharing with family and friends, and not. I'm afraid to make mistakes, you can successfully cook traditional dishes that are delicious and meaningful. Whether you're a seasoned cook or a beginner in the kitchen, cooking traditional dishes see. For immigrants and expats living away from home, cooking traditional food from one's homeland can be therapeutic. Preparing familiar dishes evokes fond memories, comforts the soul, and strengthens chew. Cultural identity within a new environment. Here are some tips for cooking authentic recipes from your country or region. Cultural identity within a new environment. Here are some tips for cooking authentic recipes from your country or region. Gather ingredients. Find any obscure or hard to find ingredients needed for your favorite dishes. Ethnic grocers or online markets may carry items unavailable in regular supermarkets. You may need to substitute alternate. They herbs, spices or vegetables that achieve similar flavors. Some key items to look for. They herbs, spices or vegetables that achieve similar flavors. Some key items to look for. Spices, check ethnic stores for whole spices and grind fresh for optimal flavor. Curry powders can approximate blends of individual spices. Flavor bases, soy sauce, fish sauce, miso and other seasoning mixtures impart unique cultural flavors. Produce, ethnic vegetables, tubers and fruit may require ethnic grocery stores or online sources. Frozen or canned alternatives can work in a pinch. Preserves, condiments and accompaniments like chutneys, relishes and fermented items add depth. Consider making your own using authentic recipes. 
Choose signature dishes. Select recipes that exemplify your region's cuisine and use techniques you're comfortable with. Focus on a few standard family favorites that bring back positive memories. Make enough for leftovers s. You can recreate the experience multiple times. Consider. You can recreate the experience multiple times. Consider.